What's up everyone, my name is Alex, I'm one of the co-founders of MyInvestingClub.com and I want to let you guys know about something special we're doing for our viewers on YouTube. So the most common question we get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did is we created a free two-hour mentorship course for the brand new trader. It's going to be available at MyInvestingClub.co, the link is going to be right here. This is a free webinar that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they start. I also wanna let you guys know about something that's very unique to MIC. So if you have any questions about trading or you're curious about trading or you don't know if MIC is the right fit for you, now you can text our head mentor, Tosh, whose number is gonna be right here, and he'll answer all the questions that you have in less than 24 hours. Thank you and enjoy the video. Okay. So today I want to talk about uh, universalities and I was going to name this universal setups, but there's, there's more to it than just setups. Um, there's, there's, there's in, when we're talking about like in the stock market, a lot of things change in the stock market, but a lot of things stay the same and it's important to recognize what, you know, which, what things stay the same and what things are, you know, you know, what things remain constant and what things change so that you know you can kind of know what you need to be relying on instead of constant, instead of changing what you're supposed to not be changing and just finding yourself spinning in circles. Yeah, I think we talked a little bit about it on the call. I'm going to go more in depth here. So how can you be a trader forever, right? If the market is always changing, right? Um, is it that, you know, is it, is it that stressful to be around forever? Like, do you have to keep constantly changing, changing your strategies like left and right all the time, like trying to like bend the market's will? Like, can you ever just be comfortable? Like, that's the, that's the topic I want to go over today, right? And so the first thing you have to do um, when, if you want to be like a universal forever long trader is you have to gain complete control over yourself. Like, that's the apps, like, at, and you kind of do this in your first couple of years of trading, your first three years, four, whatever. Um, this is what you're doing. You're gaining control of yourself. You're learning about your own tolerance, what you're good at, what you suck at, what risk management styles you like and by the way this webinar is kind of a precursor to the webinar i really wanted to do i really wanted to do a webinar that i'll probably do next week but this one has to come first so this is kind of like the basic you have to gain complete control over yourself and i've said this before like you have to have rules absolute rules that you do not ever ever think about breaking ever like absolute rules and these absolute rules are like max loss right you know like there are rules that you say you have rules and every now and then you break them like oh like you know, like, I'm not going to pussy out a trade. I'm going to stick to my stop. But every now and then you're going to break. You're just going to cover before your stop. Or you're going to maybe wiggle room too much on your stop. And you know that you're, you're kind of breaking your wiggle room. Every now and like, we have these rules that, like, you're not supposed to break your rules ever. And most of the time, you don't break any of them. Every now and then you slip on a couple. But there are some that you never fucking slip on. And these are stuff like max loss. These are stuff like max size. These are stuff like I don't trade stocks. For me, I don't trade stocks up 300% on no news. I don't want to get T12, right? These are stocks that it just doesn't fucking matter. You don't ever break them. And so you need to get that. Uh, your control over your greed needs to be firm, right? You need to, this is a big one. This one should have been purple. You need to learn how to be satisfied and happy after trades. And this comes with time because it's really hard to feel satisfied in your trading, especially in the beginning once you've kind of like, you have a losing first year and then you start winning year two. But year two fears feels empty because you're still down from year one like you kind of like it's very hard but you have to kind of put that away and you get you have to put that away day to day like oh like i lost 500 dollars today so this 400 dollars gain today feels worthless no like you really have to throw that mindset away you know this is part of gaining control over yourself fomo will never go away but, but you have to learn how to recognize it when it comes like for me i personally like out loud, I'll say stuff like, oh, FOMO, 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 shit, 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 I have FOMO, shit. Like every time I feel it, I'll be like FOMO. Or I'll even, I posted it in chat today. I'll, like when ADTX had that death candle that I didn't want to short, I didn't want to short that, that, that death candle. I was like, um, ADTX, what FOMO? What FOMO? Right. I did that out loud, like to you guys, like on, like for the record. So I knew I wouldn't fucking short it. Like, like I do whatever you have to do. Um, you know, you have to gain control of your FOMO. Trading must be relatively to you as stress-free as possible. Now, it's impossible to eliminate all the stress of trading, but for your style, you have to figure that out and figure out what is most stress-free for you. Like, what is the best stress ratio that that you can, you know, the, the lowest stress level that you can get to. Um, and ultimately, the patience patience is the ultimate key for this, right? It's you can't be in a rush to sprint this game, right? 
the, the second you're in a rush to sprint the game, you're no longer you, your your goal you, you know, your goal of being this forever trader that can universally just be a trader is gone. You, like if you're in a rush, you're just going to burn out in in the first few years. And your ability to walk away is the biggest indicator of long-term survivability. And I, what I mean is like, oh gosh, like let's say that like, I don't know, you're down your max loss before the market opens. Nobody wants to fucking leave, but you have to just leave. Like you just have to, and this goes into the patient thing. Like you have to be like, dude, I'm going to be around for 20 years. I can take this day off because this day sucks. I'm already down my max loss or close to my max loss, I'm, I'm not feeling it, like, or I'm just too hungover from yesterday. I don't have to trade today. It's just fucking some Tuesday. It's just fucking, it's Tuesday in August in 2020. I want to be trading in 2022. Like, it's a drop in the bucket. Like, this day doesn't matter. So you walk away. Like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter on any given trade. Like, you're down on the day, but there's a good opportunity to make it back if you're at the max loss. Fuck it, You'll, there'll be another day. Hey guys, my name is Tosh Bradley. I'm one of the head mentors and monitors at My Investing Club. If you have any questions about getting started in trading, getting started in MIC, MIC in general, text me at 213-458-5997. This is not a robot, it is me directly on the other end of my business line and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up, back to the video. So once you get that down, there are things that change in the market. So once you have a hold of yourself, now you can start um, looking at the market and trying to figure out, like once you figure out what you aren't gonna change about yourself, these are the things that you can kind of experiment with changing and not changing in your trading, right? So the market is going to change. I, we talk about, I talk about that every week, the market sentiment, right? The market is going to change. It's gonna fluctuate, it's gonna be cyclical, whatever. Um, you know, the, the one thing that's always stable about the market is that it's always changing. Right? That's the, that's the famous quote, but not everything is different, right? For example, there will never come a time where you're going to see a chart, uh, a day chart, and there's only green candles or only red candles. That would be the stupidest chart you'd ever see. Just red, 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 red. I mean, maybe in OTC land, I think the last stock that looked like that was like, <laughs> was the Pokemon Go Nintendo OTC when it just like, when Pokemon Go came out, this went ridiculous just fucking tanked all day. That was an OTC though, but you're never going to see that, right? The, you know, why don't you see that? Well, because there's too much emotion for that, right? There will never be charts where relative volume isn't a thing, where every candle is going to be the same volume candle. Like that's never going to happen. And that's because people are trading, right? People, humans. And a few things to put in your, a few things to put your mind at rest about the whole like, dude, like how do I know if I'm going to, like on my setup's going to work in three years, right? And hopefully this will eliminate some of your long-term fears. Big changes in the market do not happen overnight. You are going to have time to adjust, to slowly. You're, it's not like just tomorrow your, your strategies don't work. Like, dude, I've been trading the few up reclaim trade for five years, but today it's, it's not working and, it, and it's never going to work again. No, it don't get phased out, right? Um, th th there's, there's gra the market changes gradually and it gives you time to alter your setups as your setup change. And an example of this is how the stock locate game truly altered the stock market, the small cap market, right? Um, like literally like once locate started to, to become a thing and locate started to become, you know, a commodity and it just not everything was easy to borrow or, you know, things became more accessible to borrow. Like that's when the game, it became much more of a battle between shorts and longs. Like, uh, small caps used to just like pop up and die. Now it's a lot more of a battle. Um, but normally the market tends to change in a more competitive fashion. Um, and normally when old doors close, new doors open. So for example, like when faders disappear, like this is a big, a, like a large term or a big picture. When faders start to disappear, squeezers replace them, right? And that's like when one door closes, well, fine. Another door is opening, right? Like there's, you know, like opportunity just doesn't shut the door, right? Like because humans are trading, it's not as if like, oh, once a stock gets down to a certain level, it just flatlines and no trading happens once it gets to, like, that, that would be an efficient market where the stock just goes to the efficient price and no opportunity is ever, is ever um, accessible ever again, right? So when new, you know, when an old door closes, when a pattern, um, you know, s ceases to, to work, there, there might be like a, a, an alt pattern that you can latch onto or, or adjust to. Um, and like a more specific example is like when range starts to get too tight for scalpers, like say you're in the middle of a trade and the range is starting to get too tight, 
when that when that door is closing uh, as it gets tighter and tighter it's typically going to break one direction or another and big you know big if it got really tight and as you know if it got too tight to scalp that's a door closing but guess what a new door is about to open it's about to pop up right and that's just symbolic of like a small like a small picture of idea of this kind of philosophy here but like yeah the socks in a you know maybe rip big you buy the dip and big breaks typically going to break with authority it's going to be significant and dips and pops are probably going to hold and that's maybe an alt pattern that once that tightening of the range happens that's your alt strategy that that's what you're going to do instead right so as new as old doors close new doors open all right right on guys see ya thank you so much for watching our video if you want to see more of our videos please subscribe to our youtube channel by clicking the button here we do our best to post a new video every single day if you have any questions about mic or any general trading questions please text tosh using the number here also stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here